Hey there guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect a Wiimote through Dolphin Emulator on Mac, Windows, or Linux. Uh, the first thing you need to do is make sure that your uh, machine is either Bluetooth enabled or is uh, or you've plugged in one of those little uh, USB Bluetooth toggles uh, and your Bluetooth is turned on, just like mine. So uh, after you've opened up Dolphin Emulator, you need to go ahead and open up the, uh, the Wiimote option and uh, select Real Wiimote from uh, any one through four of these options and um, just go ahead and press one and two on your remote and hit the refresh button um, it might take a few seconds here but eventually like my Wiimote just vibrated I'm not sure that you could hear that or not um, and then the refresh button uh, went from this kind of um, looking for state it was paused the application was paused to uh, just back to normal and now you can see I can see at least that the uh, the player one light on my Wiimote is uh, is indeed working um, so it's it's connected. If we go ahead and just try and run a game here, everything is working as it should, and I can indeed I'm controlling this right now, not with my keyboard. You can't hear any um, keyboard clicks, but uh, with my uh, my Wii remote, and everything uh, works just fine. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and play on Tinder WFC online. Um, if you guys are wondering how to play online. Uh, if you're on a Mac and it's not working for you, uh, I'm pretty sure I've already put a video of, uh, of that up there, so go ahead and check that out. Um, but uh, that's about it, and I'll just uh, show you that my, my online play does work. Um, you've already seen that I was able to get here uh, without using the keyboard to control my uh, the game. What you can do, and if uh, anybody doesn't know how to do that and uh, you want me to make a video, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. But you can see that I'm playing online right now. Um, it's, uh, the game, the games tend to emulate slower on a Mac. So if you have a Mac and you're booting and you can uh, you can do boot camp into Windows like uh, like me, then I would strongly recommend that um, when playing games. Uh, you can always just uh, install bootcamp drivers to be able to read your games from your, uh, your Mac partition and play them on your Windows partition. It should be the same uh, speed as if they were on the Windows partition. Um, it'll run faster in Windows because Windows is uh, better for gaming, I suppose. Um, although, you know, go ahead and debate that down below. Uh, but um, that's, uh, that's basically my spiel on that. And uh, if you're looking to figure out anything uh, that you don't understand in this video, please go ahead and just uh, leave a comment down below. And um, this seems to work pretty well. So just make sure again that your uh, your Bluetooth is turned on. You select the uh, the Wii mode from here. You hold down one and two, and you press the refresh button. Um, it should take a few seconds, but be patient. Uh, once you feel your uh, Wii mode vibrate, everything's connected, and you're good to go. So thank you for watching my video. Um, if you would like to see anything particular in the future, go ahead and leave a comment section down below. Please uh, like, favorite, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.